Don't worry, all six foot five and a half of me is gonna get in the third row because I'm sure you're wondering. What if I'm changing my mind about vans? So we're wrapping up because you've kind of had a revelation on this video. Well, I when I sat in the like third row, I was like, dang. So this is six five behind six five behind six five. Yeah. So the channel's been going well. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, stop me right away. <laughs> we didn't even get into the intro. It's I'm trying fake, to. It's that fake intro voice. Yes. So. so. So, fake intro voice. So. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, you know, the channel's been going well, but we thought, you know, it might be time to start a new channel. So we have the Honda Odyssey. And so welcome to our new channel, Only Vans. Oh, no, that's not, you're not even funny. Okay, it's not funny. But anyway, no, uh, we've got the 2024 Honda Odyssey. And what you're about to see is possibly a revelation because you are not a fan of minivans. But over no. the course of this video, some opinions Man, might be changed. Funny. Thanks to the Honda Odyssey. So this is the 2024 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite, fully loaded model. So if you need space and you need some kind of luxurious features, stay tuned for this one. All right, Sam is a minivan expert. He's grown up literally in a minivan. What do you think of uh, this new Honda Odyssey? This is definitely way better, I can tell. Way better than your family's Honda oh, Odyssey? Yeah. Ouch, like, ouch. Look at this thing right here. It looks like a rocket ship panel. Like, All if right. I click a button, it's about a, like, launch off into space. Sam says the new Honda Odyssey is like a rocket ship. Okay, so we have the 2024 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite. 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 Because we are elite. The outside of it, do I even like have to? I mean, you have to be fair. All right, I'll, to be fair, I'll give it a two out of 10. Well, okay, ouch, we're not in the ratings yet. Well, I, I just feel like I'm already there because uh, okay. I just, but we have to give people reason to stick around to the end. It's just so boring. Vans are so boring. I hate minivans, but it, it looks like a minivan. If you want a minivan now, is it an ugly? It looks like a minivan. Consumer advice from Jackson. Well, Hood. like, is it an ugly minivan? No, no, it's just a minivan. It's just blah. It's very milk toast. It's very milk. Did you say milk toast? Yeah, like I'm back from oh, the 1960s. So 1950s. This van is milk toast. 1960s. Um, it's very milk toast. It's very boring. It's very just a van. So there's nothing to me exciting. There's nothing that sticks out. There isn't anything offensive. I'll nope. give it that. It's not offensive. It's not offensive, but it's just not cute. Do you? Uh, I mean, I don't disagree. I don't, I don't love the surface detailing they've done in the Odyssey. I feel like it actually kind of took a little bit of a step backwards. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't, I mean, the grill is like blah, the... The side view is blah, the everything but, is blah. But what else would, I mean, compared to other minivans? I mean, compared to other, that's what I said. So some minivans I think are like repulsive. <laughs> Do you have like, an example? Um, there are, There's only four. Tell, tell me. Chrysler it's, Pacifica. Oh, well that's ugly. Toyota Sienna. That's, eh. And Kia Carnival. Eh, I don't like any of them. Okay. But maybe I think like an older van. It's like, it's old, it's like real bot. Uh, I Dodge Caravan. Maybe, oh, we we had a, what was the van I had growing up? It was uh, a brown, a Dodge Caravan. A Dodge Caravan. Yeah, it was brown. Yeah. It was brown on brown on brown. It was poopy, all brown. We brown. called it the uh, the, the, the bread mobile, the oh, bread wagon okay. or bread something. Bread box. Yeah, bread box. That's what oh, it looked nice. like. Um, so, I mean, in comparison to the brown van I drove as a teenager <laughs> when I turned 16, I had to drive that brown van. Um, this is like my, I would have loved to have this car okay, so instead of that car. So it's not ugly. It's not offensive. It's not hideous. It's just a van and I don't love vans, but as far as vans go, so like on a van scale, it's she'd probably like an eight. Yeah, Megan's not the biggest fan of minivan styling. I think it's only fair that I defend the Odyssey a little bit. If you're looking at the four major minivans, okay, you've got the Honda Odyssey, the Toyota Sienna, the Kia Carnival, and the Chrysler Pacifica, all right? Um, all minivans suffer from the fact that they look like minivans, all right? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, are so a minivan. Just, yeah, I know, revel, uh, you know, revelations we're having here, but, but I think that the Odyssey is sort of like, a handsome general shape. Now, personally, one thing I will ding it for is I don't 
felt like when they updated it, they kind of added some more like surface styling. You can see it in the B-roll I'm probably showing you right now. They added some more kind of surface styling to the sides and stuff. I just feel like that was kind of unnecessary. Um, our friend Jennifer is gonna be in the video later and she has an older Honda Odyssey, which just looked a little cleaner to me. It looks just more a little cleaner and more functional. So I'm not the biggest fan of the styling. However, as minivans go, it's okay. And the lighting elements are pretty nice. I do like the lighting elements. I'll show you that in the B-roll as well. The headlights and the taillights both look pretty good and you got the integrated turn signals in the mirrors. So that's nice too. Okay, so here we are in the rear. And I mean, it's just like a rear, like. Well, let's focus it. less on the styling. I'm just saying, I just needed space. to point out the fact that it's just kind of blah. No, obviously it opens. Everything opens for well, you, it should which is on lovely. The elite. Yeah. Now, what I don't really understand about vans is this does not feel like very much room. Now, I know it's like deeper than like a car, but like the car, this is this a lot of space? Is it yeah. just because it's deep? Yeah, the Odyssey is up there when it comes to space. I'll put the numbers on screen for the different cargo. So third row, second row folded down. Okay. The Odyssey is, is definitely mid to upper mid pack in cargo. Okay, because it's because of the low well? Like, well, is because that... those seats fold into it. These do? Yes. They fold into the space? Yes. Really? We've Are done sure? this. We've done this many times before. Oh, I thought they folded forward. No, that's an SUV. Oh, I don't get it. Okay. Yeah, which we can't do because my bag is in there, but. No, his stuff is right here, so yeah. we can't. Um, but space wise, I mean, it's decent, right? But like, how does this compare to like a large SUV? Oh, vans are way bigger. Space wise? Yeah, you'd have to get a Suburban to even come That's close. That's what I mean by a large SUV. Well, yeah, but the Suburban costs like a billion way more. dollars. Yeah. So, so comparison to like a Tahoe or something, this, this is bigger is... than anything but a full size suburban. mega SUV. Okay. Okay. So in that respect, there you go. Yeah. You got a lot of space back here. It's very deep. I can sit down here and lay flat. Well, you guys drove I like won't, but... six people to New Orleans no, in a Honda Odyssey. No, we drove one, two, three, four, six, eight people. Eight people. Yeah, they and our all luggage. The luggage. Not in this car, but we did no, that in, in, in an, an old, old Honda Odyssey. Right. Yeah. Jennifer's. Yeah. Has she been in the video yet? I don't know. She's going maybe, to be. Maybe You're not. see her. <laughs> But here's the rear. So it's again, this is what it, one of the things the van is good for, right? Is all the space. So she does deliver. Okay, so we folded the third row down to give you an idea of how cavernous we didn't, you didn't. I did. Well, I folded the third it's row. It's kind of cool though. You just pull the little strap and yeah, then you just, pull the strap and it goes uh, yeah, right into the stuff. yeah into the little area Easy. right here. So you have a huge amount of space. I've probably already put the numbers up, but I'll go ahead and repeat them because I've already done that. So you can see the numbers on screen for the Honda Odyssey versus the Kia Carnival, the Chrysler Pacifica, and bigger? the Toyota Sienna. Well, like I said, it's above average in the class. I I think, if I remember correctly, they they kind of alternate. Some have a slightly larger area behind the third row, some have a slightly larger area with the third row down, oh. and then uh, one of them, I forget which one is the champ, it might be the Pacifica with all of them folded down as the biggest, but they're all kind of in that same ballpark. Here's what I would say, all of them are huge, right? So I don't think many people are gonna be buying a minivan based solely on the amount of interior space. If you're splitting, right, they're all massive. If you're splitting hairs over one or two cubic feet, I don't really know what it is you're carrying in this minivan. I would say that it's more of an issue of functionality with the seats. So here's the thing, the Odyssey, in the functionality department might win. Whereas the Pacifica, one downside of the Odyssey is the side to side second row seats mean that you have to remove them manually to get them out. Whereas the Pacifica has the stow and go seats which fold directly into the floor. So you trade the Odyssey's functionality and versatility for the Pacifica's convenience of being able to fold the second row flat at the pull of a strap or push of a button or whatever it is in the Pacifica. Then in the Carnival, you have those like reclining seats that come out with the footrest and stuff like that. So you're trading off that, right? So that's what you get in the carnival. And then I think of the Sienna, they have something similar as well. So each minivan has kind of its own gimmick, right? As far as the seating is concerned. The Odyssey, I think is the most simple, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's also in some ways the most user-friendly and the most intuitive. And I do think the side to side thing could be useful for some families. Whereas the ultra plush reclining seats in something like the Sienna or the carnival Carnival might be more useful for others. Like our older kids would appreciate the more yeah. reclining seats. Then the whereas right, moves. a young family with young children, especially if you have three children, you might prefer the Odyssey, which has that third jump seat in the middle that can be removed and stowed back here 
or they can side, slide side to side where an older kid well, could help. Well, we have car seats and kids right, seats and exactly. seats, all that so kind of stuff. So it really depends on what you find to be the most versatile. Personally, I think this is a massive amount of space, and I don't think that's gonna be a deal breaker if you're searching for a minivan, because this is huge. I'm almost six Sam, foot. what do you think? And this seat is all when the way back. But you're not six foot. You're 5'11". I'm She's almost six foot, right and this seat is all hey, the way back. why are you rounding up? You're not six foot, you're 5'11". Controversy. So the 20... 11, mm -hmm. 2024, Honda Odyssey, tour of the 2011. That's right. This is Jennifer. She is a Honda Odyssey owner. That's right. For a very long, nine year Honda nine year. Odyssey owner. Sorry Let's about see. the mess. This is a true mom car right here. Yes. All right. This is real minivan life. This is real mom life here. This is what it used to look like. Okay. This is an E. EX maybe? Yeah. EXL um, probably with yeah, the leather. Yeah, I think EXL. So like, I don't know, middle of the road probably. Yeah. Um, so this is what it used to look like. Excuse the blankets. You know, yeah. the kids get cold in the morning. I have the third seat here. Um, Do you like your Honda Odyssey? Oh yes, I have loved my Honda Odyssey. Um, my kids are a little older now, 14 and no, she's not 14 yet. Not 13, yet, almost. 13 and 12. So the, the Odyssey definitely served me very well when I had little kids. The sliding doors, all the extra space, the kids could have throw all their junk in the back. So I definitely would recommend the Honda Odyssey. It has treated us very well. So would you be interested in a 2024 Touring Elite? I would be interested in seeing it for yes. sure, because I bet it's a lot <laughs> Maybe not interested than in mine. the price. Okay, what's the price? Uh, well, this one's probably the better part of 50 grand. Ooh, yeah. okay, okay. Well, I can say they've definitely um, made some nice upgrades here. You could see in my 2011, I didn't have a screen like this, of course. Um, this is really fancy how it rolls back. Mine's like the lift up, like the old school lift oh, up yeah. guy, you know? I definitely did not have wireless charging. Look at this wireless charger here. Um, all my chargers. Oh, you have a, a video player. Oh, yep. no. I don't have that in mine. Still rocking the Blu-ray in the Touring I, Elite I, here. I see this. I was like, wait, what is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can play some Blu-ray for anybody who might actually have a disc. I don't know. Do yeah, I, I'm not those? sure about that. But the <laughs> like, uh, do people still have Blu-ray discs? It's got HDMI. Okay, there you go. And then you've got this one. This one has the removable center I'm gonna seat. see how this is. Well, that actually goes, the seats go side to side as well. No. Yeah. Oh, and then I could like slide them together. Exactly. Like, like a 1980s minivan. Yes, yeah, so you could hang out. Oh, I mean, I feel like the overall design in the back is very similar yeah um except like upgraded and nicer obviously um but in the front obviously the these instruments and everything are a lot nicer and i can say if you have little kids i have absolutely loved my van she has a name vanna white Love vanna her. white yeah fitting fitting That's right. this is all white yeah so i don't know i mean i think it looks pretty nice the price tag's kind of a lot but if you're looking at a car that seats eight people and has lots of storage space, it's cheaper than a Suburban or like a Yukon or oh, a Tahoe yeah. or any of those other large cars. So two so, thumbs up. Honda Odyssey fan and yes. definitely a fan of the new one. Maybe yes. not quite at this price point. Correct. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it's always to me to do the engine powertrain stuff. So the Odyssey is powered by a 280 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6 with 262 pound feet of torque going through a 10 speed automatic. Now the pro here is it's a nice, smooth, naturally aspirated Honda engine and it's running through a nice, smooth, shifting 10 speed Honda automatic transmission. No complaints there. There are two slight downsides. The first is that you can only get the Honda Odyssey in front wheel drive only. Okay. So for you northern folks that might like the in front -wheel drive only. only in front wheel drive only yeah i just realized that <laughs> yeah. for you northern folks that might like the security of all-wheel drive which you can get in pretty much every other minivan that's something you can't Why? get the honda odyssey um they just don't offer it in the honda odyssey uh toyota and kia and chrysler all offer it but the honda odyssey doesn't so that's a little bit of a downside although i will say with a set of winter tires you're probably going to be okay the other slight negative we're, is we're not giving driving advice though. oh no well not and not in winter conditions <laughs> exactly. we live in atlanta live hello in Don't take welcome to the channel anything, we live in atlanta remember what happened to us with two inches of snow yeah. you know a decade ago yeah don't listen to us for driving advice uh in the winter um the other downside is fuel economy is not bad for an engine of this type but 
All the other minivans offer hybrid versions. So the Toyota uh, Sienna comes in a hybrid that gets excellent fuel economy. The Chrysler Pacifica comes as a plug-in hybrid that gets excellent fuel economy along with a small EV range. And Kia just updated the Carnival with a hybrid version. So that's a little bit of a bummer. The Odyssey is great to drive, smooth powertrain, and we're gonna get to that right after I finish talking about this. But the downside is that we were averaging about 22 and 23, and we went on some long highway journeys. And so even factoring that in, we couldn't crack about 23 miles per gallon. So if you're looking for fuel economy or you know all of your trips are gonna be short suburban trips, the Odyssey is gonna be the least efficient at the pumps versus the other three competitors. I have to preface this by saying I am not a fan of the van. We've probably already said that. I'm not a van fan. Um, I just feel like it needs to be said so that the everyone can fans. take that with a, with, so then you can take what I have to say knowing that it's from that lens. Right. I do not love a van. However, I really do appreciate this car. I, van. it's van. <laughs> it's very comfortable. I like the seat. I like the steering wheel. I like the way it drives. It's got a decent pickup. It's got a decent, you know, the braking and I mean, it's pretty intuitive. I, I like it, I don't have a problem with it. Um, and it's got so much space and like, all the things like there is a video camera that i can press to watch my kids in the back seat we'll show an example of that oh you will well with one of us because one the of camera. Oh, yeah no i thought you were going to show it with our kid because she is well, funny is she in the car right she kind of look like an alien so here you can see the cabin view and oh my gosh there's megan in the back she's in the back seat where you can see the second row here and the third row here and if you press this little button right here for the microphone you can actually talk to the people in the back and you can even interrupt what they're watching so right in the middle of the movie you can be like kids stop punching each other don't mess around who needs a bathroom break does anyone want to stop at mcdonald's why would you say it like that uh well because i'm on the microphone so that's my it's my microphone oh. voice hello kid children do you need a bathroom break how about you do you need a bathroom break Okay, we got it. It's not funny. Oh. So, like, that's kind of cool. And when you put the car, when you park the car, do you know it shows you the back seat? Like, if you have stuff back there? Like, I went to work today and they had stuff in the back seat, and then the camera came up to oh, show me all the stuff. Oh, lots of cars do that now because yeah. of, you know, Like, kids. to make sure you know there's not a kid. Yeah, right? lots of cars. Um, but, I mean, I think that's kind of cool. Um, this one does it for all the seats. It, it does. And it's, it's a comfortable drive. We drove it down to Atlanta and back, and it's comfortable. It's... It has like all the things. It's like if you need space, you want to be able to carry a bunch of people, but you don't want maybe the price tag of a bigger SUV, a van. I, I do get why people like their vans. And when you're in a parking spot, parking lot, it's nice to have the doors that open to the side, you know, or that, whatever, that, so you don't have to worry about like being in a tight spot. But I, so with all that said, I still wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't buy this it's great but I it's buy great it. but i would buy it just because i don't per personally like the look of a van this driving segment is great it's stuck behind a cement truck too oh yeah we're getting a lot of driving in our driving segment today does it matter no well I do mean, they really care what i'm we're... just saying that maybe they understand why the background is constantly not moving <laughs> <laughs> like we just took the van out well we don't normally go we don't really <laughs> film on a monday afternoon yeah, so this we just is green a, screen this this is a weird timing weird time of the day for us to be filming um, but it's very comfort, comfortable. Everything that you could possibly need is at your fingertips in the van. And I do think it looks lovely. My, my friend has an old van. Have you showed her yet? Yeah, have I showed her in the video? I don't know because I haven't edited the video we're currently filming. So maybe you've either already seen her or you're <laughs> going to see her. It's quite possible. And they've done quite a few upgrades to this van in the past 10 years. Um, I like the gauges a lot. Well, I these think they're kind of cool, the little blue. Yeah, but these are Honda's older gauges in infotainment. Oh, so you don't like that. Well, they've been updating them, and the vans across all brands always seem to get the updates kind of last. Why? I don't know. I think because they run for a long time before they get updated. Oh. Um, so, I mean, everything is fine. Like, there's nothing special to me about the gauge cluster up here. It's kind of blah. This is very functional. Yeah, it's very functional. It shows you what you need to see. I like the blue and the green lights and stuff but it's nothing like oh that looks fun it doesn't have a heads-up display which is that a thing uh like should I mean, we have that how much kinda, is this car cost uh, over about fifty thousand dollars i mean if i'm gonna spend over fifty thousand dollars i kind of want a heads-up display yeah there's you some know? tech items that are kind of missing yeah i agree with that um there, is there a parking camera 
uh, because only I, reverse. Another thing that I probably should I did not find have. one when I was trying to park today, yeah. I guess, because there's not one. No surround view. Surround view camera. That seems like a, you know, especially on a larger car, like, in the van. Give me a, give me a, give me a camera, man. Yeah, that's another oversight. Um, yeah. Um, I, I think the little gate, it's kind of boring. I don't know. I don't love the big fat, I don't know. I just don't really love the look of you it. You literally just said you do like the look of it. No, I... You said, I like well, the gauges. I like the blue. No, I like the blue. I like the color. I, I okay. meant the, by the gauges, I meant the gas and the okay. hot cold over here on the sides. The little blue. <laughs> and the temperature. Those? The temperature thing. The middle part, I think, is kind of ugly. Yeah. Well, that's what Honda was using across all their models a few years ago. The ugly middle? Well, I mean, the boring middle. The boring middle. Um, I think the navigation, I know you said it's old, but I think it looks kind of cool. Well, it's very simple, and you like simple. Yeah. That's why I married you. Yeah, well, there oh, you go. but uh, Simple Jack. Um, that's, a, that's a Tropic Thunder reference. Oh, get it. Well, somebody in the audience gets it. If you got Simple Jack, comment down below. <laughs> you got Simple Jack. So, yeah. I, I don't mind all this. I know you said it was old, but I don't mind this. I don't think that looks right. so great. But... Screen's a little small, though. Yeah. But now we're getting into interior. Right, and so we're we driving. So we should probably get to me driving, driving. first. All right, so obviously, as the enthusiast side of the channel, reviewing the Honda, What are you trying to say? As the person who enjoys driving. But, but I'm not. Sporty, I like driving. Know. Okay. I'm an enthusiast. Okay, we're, we're a dual enthusiast channel. Yeah, One of us go. just drives a little more intensely than the other. Hey, well, that's uh, all I guess. So I'm... as the enthusiast side of the channel, driving a minivan and talking about a minivan from an enthusiast perspective seems kind of silly. So let's just talk about like what's most important about the drive. First of all, the ride is really great. It's really great. I always enjoy driving Hondas. Honda's one of my favorite brands. Um, they always strike kind of the perfect balance between sporty and comfortable. Um, when they're comfortable, they're always controlled, okay? The body is always controlled. Last week, we had the Lexus RX 450. Go check out that review. And that's almost too soft. We both remarked that on some of our bad roads around here, around our house, it just moved around too much. It just moved around, never quite settled, especially up and down as it's kind of like floating along. The Odyssey, now longer wheelbases help with that, but the Odyssey just glides over the road. It's so comfortable to drive. It's so easy to drive. The steering is quite good for a minivan. It's not fast, but it's fast enough. It makes you feel like you are nimble enough for such a long vehicle. Um, plus, you know, the wheel is nice. Leather's good, good grips up here, you know. So it's just a very easy car to live with. Now, the acceleration, okay, let's talk a little bit about that, you know, powertrain from behind the wheel. The acceleration is fine. It's got 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. The 10 speed will get you up to speed quickly. Um, it's not remarkable. Uh, it's very smooth because it's a Honda 3.5, so you expect it to be smooth, but there's nothing that kind of stands out about it. So it's perfectly fine for a minivan, um, but it's not going to deliver anything like more than that. It's not a hybrid. It's not fast. It's not slow. So like everything about the drive is just easy. Um, now one thing on, on top of all that, uh, the gauge cluster, everything is the older gauge cluster, very clear, a little bit boring. I did use the radar cruise control. Okay. So Honda sensing is like one of the better safety systems on the market for two reasons. It's very good at what it does and they include a ton of features in all of their models. It's kind of one of the most comprehensive systems. And I really like Honda sensing. That said, the radar cruise was good. It's not the best. I would say it's very good, but it really wants you to keep your hands like on the wheel um, at all times. Like it only gives you a little bit of leeway uh, before it, it starts reminding you. That bump's actually quite bad and it yeah. handled that very well. Yeah. Like th this is a very comfortable car to well, drive. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna think it didn't handle well when you see my footage. Well, I, all, your footage is always <laughs> a little bit bouncier than I mine tried. for some unknown reason. I don't um, know. But, on the highway. It's because I drive better than you. Oh, okay. Is that it? Yeah. Um, so what I was saying about Honda Sensing is that I did find it to be a little overreactive at times in this vehicle. The front parking sensors would go off a little bit prematurely or sometimes randomly um, when the, anything happened, like a shadow passed in front of a car, like a car's turning left in front of me and they'd be like, blah, 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 you know, there's an object in front of you. And I was like, not really. Um, the braking thing is very uh, sensitive. If a car brakes and you even 
begin to not slow down. Like you even like hesitate, it starts flashing. So if you want the car to like really be protecting you, um, I don't think you'll mind it, but it's definitely on the cautious side. Same thing with the lane keep system on the yeah, highway. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, you get anywhere near the lane and it's like, hey, 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 cut it out. You're in a minivan, cut it out. Um, so, but other than, I mean, that's not like a negative, honestly. I'm not saying that it says a negative. I'm just saying it tends to overcompensate in the safety department a little bit. For a minivan, you might appreciate that. Um, but I got no complaints about the drive. The seat is great. I got like crazy scoliosis and I was able to get in some nice lumbar and we got the memory seats, which we appreciate because, um, you know, we're greatly different heights. <laughs> so I think that there is a lot that you would enjoy about taking something like the Honda Odyssey on a long journey. And sit in the way back. And sit in the way back, which, you know, if we haven't got to the interior yet, you'll see. So we're in the interior of the, well, I'm in the inside of the Honda Odyssey talking about the interior. As you can see, the, the materials are nice. They're not, the, bad. they're not bad. The steering wheel feels fine. I do like the, like, I think the leather, the two-tone leather accents or whatever, they look fine. The, everything feels nice. The seat is comfortable. It's got the little um, two-tone stitching or whatever. So Oh, it's got like piping. Yeah. Yeah. Piping. That's what I meant. Um, so that's nice. Obviously, it's got all the things, like a big space for your purse. It's got the, um, uh, I want to say portable charger, the wireless. Uh, wireless charger. It's got, so you can put your little phone there. It's got this big old, big old space down here. It's and there's got a the drawer cup holders. down there. There's a drawer. Down by your knees. Center console. Oh, what for? More space. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, it's got a Blu-ray player to play your Blu-rays for the yeah, people in the back seat. Yeah, this screen. With yeah. HDMI, so you can it's hook got, up to it. Yeah, it's got the cables here, the charging cables. It's got two cup holders here, cup holder here, cup holder down there. Oh, it's like loaded. Yeah, I mean, like you could be drinking all the all the sodas, all the waters, all the things. Fits the stand great, obviously. Um, it's very comfortable. I felt very comfortable. It's lower than I like because I like I prefer an SUV, but it drives like a car. Do you? Oh, right? definitely. Yeah, I mean, it definitely drives like a car. It's got the nice sunroof up here. I mean, just kind of average. Oh, it doesn't have a big, I guess, because of the Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, it's just got a little little sunroof up here. The gauge cluster is, it. I do like the colors, the blues on the sides, the blue and green lights. I like that. But this, like you said, is kind of um, small-ish, but it's got the buttons. These are my favorite buttons for uh, choose gear shifting. Um, it's got oh yeah, heated, you like Honda and Acura. Yeah, buttons. I love the buttons. I love the buttons. Um, it's got heated and cooled seats. It's got the heated steering wheel, which works like a charm. Yeah, they actually work really well. Yeah, my hands are like on fire. But you know um, they don't have heated and cooled seats. In the back? Yeah. Let's yeah. get you in each of the rows so they can see 5'9". Who cares about those kids, huh? Yeah, well, who cares about those adults? <laughs> my feet just got, stuck my feet got stuck on row. each other. Um, so here I am in the second row, 5'9", very comfortable. And this is back far. So yeah, because it motors back. Yeah, it motors back further than I would have already had so it. So you have, you still have room. Yes, plenty of room, and uh, it's got three cup holders here, yes. and another person here, and this can like move. And that's a seat. That's a seat. Yes. This can be a seat. So this can be three people here. Yes. Or we can pull this whole middle thing out. Yes. And then I can use this thing and adjust this seat over. Yep. Are you going to show them all this? I uh, it maybe if we have time. Yeah. Because um, it's a lot. It's pretty cool, but it can like move around, like so you can like reconfigure the car how you want it. Like that's pretty fancy. Um, it's got my Blu-ray little screen up here. That's pretty big. That's a pretty decent size. Yeah. Um, I have vents over here. That person, there's vents over there. There's the chooser. It's not chooser. The chooser. The, um, the control. So the person control. The I was chooser. like, so they can choose their temperature. The chooser. It's, it's a perfect. So they can control the temperature up there. It's there's like the two monster. more cup holders down you speak here. Speak for the trees. It's the chooser. There's two more cup holders down here. There's charging USB and stuff down here. There's a cup holder in my door. So how many cup, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cup holders for the two of us. That's, that's, that's. Well, someone wild. asked Tonda how many cup holders and they said all the cup all holders. All the cup holders. I mean, that is what is happening here. It's all the cup holders, um, but very comfortable. Very yeah. comfortable. And everything you touch, like this, the leather feels lovely. Yeah. Um, it's very, I feel like it feels high quality. So, and it's now got a little open closed door guy. Test the third yeah. row. Oh, to see if I can go back there? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay. So I'm going to try to see how comfortable it is back there. But look, I just scooted this up. It was very easy. And look at all this like nice big, you know, I feel like sometimes you're like barely can fit back there. This feels like a nice big space for me to fit. So we're going to come back here. Oh, Okay. Well, this the little neck thing is down really low, so that's not very comfortable. Well, that's because they were folded down. Um. All right. You gonna bring it back? That's it. Dang. I have a lot of space. What if I'm changing my mind about vans? 
Um, Whoa, you heard it here first. I mean, I'm just, honey, there's peasant blockers. I know, all the way in back. In the way back. Yeah. Um, there's charging back here, charging and a little volume guy and a headphone thing. Yep. So you can adjust your volume separately. And there's two, I have two of my own, two whole cup holders over here. They have two cup holders. They also have all the controllers and the power outlets. That's a power, what is that? A power, That. what is that? That's power outlet, some kind of Oh, circle. it's probably your, that's your uh, 120, volt. yeah. This is like a regular power Or 12 thing. volts, sorry, <laughs> 120. Um, and, and, I mean, I can fit, and look, I can fit in the middle too. Yeah. And like, I'm actually really comfortable. All right, so we're we okay. getting a minivan. I mean, okay, I've always said I understand the minivan. This is very nice. Like, I would comfortably ride back here. Uh -oh. Like, no complaints. We are literally changing minds here, I'm Honda just saying, Odyssey. But the, why do they have to be so not cute? I just don't love the shape. I don't. Well, that's what Kia's trying to do with the Carnival. Yeah, but the, I mean, the size and the amount of people and stuff that you can fit back here. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Like you said, we took eight people. Not in this van, but in another Honda Odyssey. We took eight people to, where'd we go? Charleston or Hilton Head or something? New Orleans? No, we took eight people to Hilton Head. Oh, whatever. With all of our stuff. And you fit. And we fit. Are you gonna get me out? All right, are we gonna wrap up? Yeah, I'm stuck back here. Oh, bye. Very funny. So one of the best parts of minivan life, if you're gonna say there's best part to minivan life, is the functionality of the interior. And this is no exception. Now, as the sort of enthusiast side of this channel, I do think automakers tend to let their minivans languish a little bit longer than their other models because minivans are sort of bought on longer cycles. People buy them and drive them for a long time. So unfortunately what that means in the Honda Odyssey is you have sort of older Honda gauge cluster, highly functional, very useful, but just kind of blah looking. It's just a big square screen that gives you all your information. I'll put some shots of it on screen. And then the infotainment system is sort of the previous gen. Now the good thing is they added your volume knob and stuff like that, but it doesn't have wireless CarPlay. You have to wire in for that. Yeah. Um, and you no. do have, yes, you have oh. Bluetooth, oh, Bluetooth, but you don't have oh. CarPlay. So you have Bluetooth, but yeah. Yeah, so we were using Bluetooth, but you don't have wireless CarPlay. Not a deal breaker, honestly. Hyundai and Kia have been slow to adopt wireless CarPlay in their top trim, so I don't really ding it for that. It's just a convenience thing. Um, you do have some of the features, like the cabin view thing, where you can see the people in the back. We've probably put up some images of that. Um, and then, you know, the layout, the space, you've got the little drawer down here that I was saying. Where's the handle? Oh, there it is down there. So extra storage down here with a couple of the wireless that? charger. You can't see that at all, the way I think I might have some B-roll. Okay. Have a lot of b-roll the interior so i'm probably showing that at the moment but you've got a ton of little storage nooks and crannies i also really like in hondas and i'll probably show this as well in the doors you've got sort of multi-level doors yeah. right so you have an upper area for storage with cup holder you got a lower area for storage with cup holder probably a can honestly because you can't fit a giant bottle there but like you just got no a lot Stanley. of functionality and that's kind of the odyssey thing also i am almost six foot six and you can see with the seat motored back i have more than enough room the wheel feels great pulls out far enough tons of headspace so i've got lots of space inside of the honda odyssey and as we already said it drives there's a motorcycle coming <laughs> it's a guy on his harley just blasting his music like you do when you have a harley but you can tell like this is a highly functional space and very roomy. Okay, so in the second row, don't worry, all six foot five and a half of me is gonna get in the third row because I'm sure you're wondering. Yeah, we're but gonna in, see if you fit. I know, right, for fun. So in the second row, uh, the seat is motored back right now. So I do have, I would say about an inch Not of much space. space. But... Well, when I'm sitting behind myself, I have about an inch of space between my knees. I do think, that other this is as far back as the seat goes i do think in some other competitors i have slightly more space in the second row but if we're being honest at my height sitting behind myself i mean come on really like you're going to be carrying a basketball team around in your minivan i highly doubt it right so this should be more than enough space for most normal people and to gain the versatility of these seats you can remove that this jump seat in the middle here and you can slide these seats in together right so to have that versatility if that yeah, costs cool. you yeah like an inch of leg room i'm okay with that and you know like you already said you got all the you know stuff the screens the you know vents and everything the charge port so it's pretty great I, I don't love the fact that this is not heated and cooled. 
Like, oh, well. this is a very expensive, expensive minivan, yeah. and I do think that we should start seeing some of those options. We see them in SUVs because SUVs sell so well, so automakers like, you know, fill them full of all these features and amenities for around the same price. So I do think in some of the minivans, if you want them to compete with SUVs, you know, I know the buying cycle might be longer, but it would be nice to have a couple of those options at $52,000, $53,000. But space-wise, it's pretty good. Now, I know, let's get to the third row and see how that goes. All right, seeing if your big old butt can fit back there. Ugh. Oh no, here All it right. goes. In the third row of the Honda Odyssey, pull the seat back and Look I can you back fit. there, cutie. I can fit. Is it My comfy? Uh, it actually is not bad, okay? So my knees are... So this is 6'5 behind 6'5 behind 6'5. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's impressive. And well, actually, technically, that front driver's seat is motored back. So it could be 6'7. So, yeah, so that would be front person could be taller than 6'5 because I'm almost 6'6, so they could be taller than that, still fit uh, almost 6'6 and almost 6'6 person back here. And I also have headroom. That's the big thing in a van yeah. is the headroom. So I have about an inch of headroom and I would say about a half inch. But here's the thing. I wouldn't mind taking some trips, like a shorter trip in this because my feet can fit under the seat. So I can actually kind of stretch my legs a little bit, even though they're touching the seat, I can stretch them out. Now, because I'm a larger person, I don't think a third person is uh, possible here, um, but you could easily fit another me sitting right here so that's wow, heaven help us all if we have another you well yeah one's enough right <laughs> you know yeah. but that's pretty that's pretty crazy i got my vents got my charger usb a not usb c but you know i'll take what i can get but i think that's pretty good so wrapping up the Honda Odyssey, obviously we've changed some minds. Megan found it to be far more versatile than she was expecting, maybe even understanding what van life is all about. Personally, I drove this thing actually quite a bit this week and I didn't really mind it. Yes, you're always aware that you're driving a minivan, but it's just so easy. That's the thing. I remember a while back, I compared driving a minivan, especially a loaded up touring elite model like this, to almost like riding in like a private jet on the road. Like, you know, you're in the, you're in the seat, you're all comfortable, you got all your stuff around you in the second row you got a big captain's chair and you're all comfortable and you got all your stuff around you maybe you have a screen and maybe you have your you know entertainment your phone charging and all this kind of stuff it's almost like this sort of private experience when you're just wafting down the road and the fact that this wafting thing down. yeah wafting down the road and the fact that this thing rode better than the lexus rx we just had you know 70 something thousand dollar lexus rx hybrid that we just had and this thing rides better the body's more controlled over the highway it's super smooth and comfortable now, I will say that other minivans also benefit from that as well. Long wheelbase, comfortable ride. The Toyota, Toyota Sienna the Toyota? XS, Toyota, Toyota, <laughs> the Toyota Sienna XSE I praised for the way it rode. I was really impressed with that. And with that, you get the hybrid fuel economy. So it really depends on what does your family need. Now, in terms of reliability, there's a reason the Sienna is like kind of king of this segment in terms of not only like sales and gas mileage, but also kind of perception is because it's a Toyota and people drive it for hundreds of thousands of miles and you get the hybrid fuel economy. But I would also say the Honda Odyssey has quite a good reputation for that as well. And if you like the second row seats with the way they slide together, the spaciousness, cargo capacity, the overall functionality, then this might be for you. With the only drawback, in my opinion, being the naturally aspirated engine doesn't get the best fuel economy and it's front wheel drive only. So you Northern folks will have to decide if you can live with that. But overall, mighty impressed with the Honda Odyssey. And maybe if our kids were younger, van life Might would be. be something we would consider. Eh, maybe. Maybe, but you know, we'll have to see. Let's see uh, if Megan's hearts and mind has changed, you know. Hearts and mind? Hearts, I, I know, heart. yeah, one heart. <laughs> heart one and heart, mind, mind. Yeah. has been changed by the Honda Odyssey. All right, so we're wrapping up because you've kind of had a revelation on this video. Well, I, when I sat in the like third row, I was like, dang, this is like actually, because even in my suburban, I would not travel in that third row. No. It is not comfortable. But I, at 5'9", I had no problem climbing back there. The seat pulled up with plenty of space and it's like really actually very comfortable back there. And I have cup holders and I felt like they were like, we want people to actually ride back here. Whereas like in a suburban, I feel like my third row is like, we don't actually want humans to ride back here. Um, just, we just want to say we have a third row, you know? Well, like, yeah, sorry. You know? But this third row is like... But that's why vans are Yeah, better. we actually have a third row. So I, I get it. I get it. If you have multiple kids... I mean, I had two kids. I just didn't ever feel the need for a van. But 
I, you know, if you had if you had asked me when I, the kids were younger, I don't know. This might have. have this might have swayed me. you. Yeah. So. So your earlier rating might be changing. No, no. Oh, no. the styling. No. Okay. No, no, because I was the styling. Right. The exterior, I'm giving it a two out of ten. Yikes. I. It's just because it is a van. It now, as like I said, as vans go, well, I'll give her an eight. An eight out of I eight out of like okay. a van. So within the minivan segment. Within the of minivan. Four vans. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it an eight. Maybe okay. a nine. Maybe a night. Well, you'll have to check out. I'll link. We've reviewed all four major vans. Oh, okay. So I'll link them down below, and you can decide which, which one. Which one's the most stylish? Okay. But as on a scale of all vehicles, she's a two. Sorry. Of, of overall style. Overall style. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. The interior, like the way it feels, the space, the steering wheel, the materials, the dials, all that stuff. I mean, I'd probably go an eight. Okay. Um, everything feels great. Like like you said, the gauge is kind of boring. The the nav could be a little bigger, but um, but I mean overall, I thought. And I mean maybe honestly, I don't know. Maybe a nine. Uh, those are really only a couple things that okay. I disliked about it. But yeah. it's got so much space. It's got so much functionality. Yeah. That I feel like that kind of the over functionality score. It, yeah, yeah. I mean it kind of it kind of supersedes everything else. Yeah. So. Um, I, I really love how functional this van is, and I totally get why people love their vans. It's kind it of makes the Odyssey perfect sense thing. The Odyssey is a very functional. It's very functional. Um, space wise, are we doing space cargo? Sp do I do that? No, no. Not really. <laughs> I don't usually do that. Because it, it would um, all vans are huge. It would all be honestly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's a space, it's a tenon. No, you do I the mean, drive. How's yeah. the drive? Uh, I mean, an eight and a half out of ten? It's a little, just kind of boring. I don't know. It's just kind of Bored. like. Bored. Comfortable. It's comfortable. There's nothing. I mean, there's really nothing I can say one way or the other about how if it's it's great or it's boring or it's it's just kind of like in the middle. You what know? about your new rating? It does what it's supposed to do, but I enjoy value. it. Value. What's my new rating? Value. Oh, value. I, babe, you said this is fifty over fifty thousand dollars. Fifty-two thousand dollars. I mean, that seems like a lot of money. But it is loaded. But it is loaded. But what? What does it start at? Oh, I mean, you can get this in like the low 40s for like the kind of functional models. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I guess if I'm gonna if I'm a mom and I'm gonna be in this car <laughs> and spend a lot of time in here with all of my children and really want to like get the most out of it and like mm -hmm. feel the comfort that I think they're trying to give the people that are in the car, especially the person driving it, dealing with all the children back there. Um, I mean, I'd probably give it like an eight. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's got a pretty good value. Well, most people buy a these little and expensive. Keep them. They keep them yeah. a long time. Yeah. I mean, like, I, Hondas are great cars, yeah. so it's never going to... Well, Jennifer's had her van forever. Yeah. Um, and at this point in the video, they've seen Jennifer in her van. They have? Are you sure? Uh, well, oh, because I'm is the, the very ending. end. This is the okay. ending. I don't know. Maybe you, like, decided to this start with the end. literally the Start with the beginning. Okay. End with the beginning. Start with end. On that um, note. On that note, it's a great van. If you're in the market for a van, uh, the space, I mean... If you're not sure, sit in the back seat. I bet it'll sway you. Like the back back seat. But I loved it. Um, if you want to see more and see, I don't know, maybe another van, maybe a car. What do we got coming next? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but if you want to come back and come see us, we'd appreciate it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Tune in next time. Tune in next time for more. On Thank our you. only vans. You always start when we're in the park. No, I just... <laughs> you always start rolling and we're just in a parking lot. I'm hoping lot. that you'll start going and then I can be done sooner. Oh, oh, I see how it is. That car is totally smashed up and just sitting there. Somebody wrecked it and then just left it at the park. Wrecked it and left it. I know. Makes us sound like we live in a really good area. People wrecking cars and just leaving them at the park. I'm surprised I haven't been towed. Yeah, I know. It should be. Looks like a good time to leave.